So, here are the bees again, and I had to grab my cell phone camera because the cell phone camera has power. The other one doesn't. I ran out of power in between the ride. Good luck. I'll stop by later maybe and see them. Yeah, okay. Okay. Thanks, sis. So, my sister was on the way home. Okay, so... I had to make a temporary pit stop because I lost power on the camera. Uh, whoops. So this is smartphone camera now. It's okay, I don't need the sound. Oh, maybe they do just a little bit. There's my sis. Okay. Back on the way to Wales. So I'm in the town of Aurora. Had to stop because I ran out of power. So actually, on the right-hand side here, that's my sister's house. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to go further. She lives in the town of Aurora, only a couple miles from uh, Masterson's Garden Center. finger again. Stupid finger getting in the way. Okay, we're going to make a left here. And we will stop. Okay. Numi's bees are in the back there. <laughs> you see those bees? Did you hear? That was heavy bees. Those were heavy bees. We like heavy bees. That, that means that there's the bees that are way, but also the honey. Because they're honey bees. Okay. So we're kind of like on the edge of the town of Aurora and the town of Wales right now. a bump here I know so I'm just gonna take it easy because the bees are in the back and I don't want to rile them up Rider Road and 20A. Town of Wales is this way. Welcome to the Town of Wales. Town of Wales. Yeehaw! <clears throat> so the bees are coming with me home. New means bees. <clears throat> so the 
thing to do when you get home. You've got to put these bees right in place of where they're going to actually reside because if you don't, they will hone in their internal biological GPS to the location that they are at. Therefore, they will come back to that location. And so, that's why it's important to get them to where they need to be, need to have their home. Fork 20A78. We're two miles away from Numi's Bees residence. Okay. So, not that bad of a day. I'm glad it's not raining. I'm glad that, uh, I'm glad that the bees are relatively docile. left to go. <laughs> Half a mile to go. Okay, so Numi's Bees Resident is just about one quarter of a mile up the road here. And here's the driveway. Look at that. So now, we do not just park here. We need to go to where the bees are going. So drive on the grass. <laughs> Little bumpy. But, so the blueberries are here. Ooh, ooh. There's some food there, bees. I don't know if I'm going to buy the food that he said. Not, why, why have beef food? There is summer. Summer is upon us. Okay. So, there are the hives right there. So, the mission now is to stop the car. <clears throat> Hear the bees? Wow. That's bee sound. <clears throat> okay. 
so what I'm going to do, um, and it's easier if I do this myself, um, I'm going to pause the film. Uh, I'm going to move these, um, and then I'll put the, I'll move these um, hives on the side for the time being, and I'm going to put each of the, the hives that are in here, in the car, exactly where those hives are. So I'm going to go do that. Signing off for a couple minutes. So now, whoa, that was a little work. And I'll tell you why I'm huffing and puffing here. So as you can see, I moved the hives below on the grass temporarily and placed the nuke boxes where the hives were because eventually I will move everything back to where they where it was, move the new one, new hives back. They need to acclimate. So right now I'm going to, just as a precaution, uh, get my bee suit on and take the netting off. So I'm going to sign off to do that. But anyway, after, what, conception in around January, in my mind, and thinking about Numi's bees, to May 16th, 2014, Numi's bees is a reality. Be back in uh, about five minutes. Okay, I'm back. And I'm back to... So I got my bee suit on as a precautionary measure. And now I'm going to take off the, uh, the wrap that's on it. It's like a cheesecloth wrap. It's just, it was just put on there for uh, the ride. So um, this will take me about five minutes, but I will do it. Since nobody's here to help me video, I'll just do it. So signing off for five minutes. As you can see, it's about, actually it took me 10 minutes. The bees are now out. So they're gonna be foraging themselves. And I don't wanna to get too close because they're getting used to their environment. And I really don't want them to, because I didn't smoke them. I want them to naturally get used to everything. As you see, I put that stuff on the side and I'm going to be loading those with wax, uh, the frames of wet with wax. So I'm gonna see if I can zoom in a little bit. If you can see, that hive right there has a lot of bees outside. That's a good thing. Also, it's good to note that <clears throat> these hives with five frames in were heavy. Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to these hives here, the new hives, Go to the frames. There are five frames uh, each in here. And I'm going to prepare them for tomorrow when I transfer bees. And it does look like the bees are acclimating to their new location. And that's a good thing. And we'll see how things go because I don't want everything to get messed up. And the bees just go fly, be free. So, signing off for now.